Hey guys, what is up? It is Pieces of Prestige and I am here announcing a new custom scenery set. Uh, this might be the very best set I have ever made and I hope you guys are going to like it. Now basically what it is is, uh, you know I have created concrete bridges, wooden bridges. The download links for that are in the description. But now I made an entire new set. Um, it is made right now for a span of only three tiles. So it's basically this. Now let's make a little bit of sort of like a canal real quick all right so basically this is going to be the uh, the span that this thing has now i'm going to turn on the um let's see the grid there we go all right so this is basically the span that we're gonna have now what this set is is a traditional dutch bridge set now all the dutch people will know oh i'm sorry that shouldn't happen all right let's see pieces of procedures dutch's bridge set all right so basically Everybody in, from the Netherlands will kind of recognize this this type of bridge. Uh, we have a lot of these bridges in the Netherlands, and um, Silverred actually he's doing a Let's Play series. Uh, I guess all of you know that, and he has a Dutch area in his park. And this bridge is right there actually. Uh, this bridge is kind of made for that park, but I felt like you know what I'm gonna release it since more people would like to use it maybe. And it basically contains all of the pieces that you need to create a realistic bridge, uh, Dutch bridge. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now what, we, what you want to do first, if you download the set, click on base. And you want to put it right there against the wall. You don't want to put it inside it like this, because then the span won't work. But you want to place it like that, alright? Now, we're going to do the same on the other side. You can hold... Uh, hover above this piece hold control and then just put it in place there you go now we have the two bases the foundations of the bridge are done all right now what we're going to do first is base railing left which is basically the left side and this is the left side so when you're looking at the bridge the left side is the side of the base that is on your left and basically this goes there and this one goes there on the left and then the right that one you can actually hold control as well over the uh, base and you can just put them in place like that now you can already see this looks kind of like a foundation for a bridge all right so what we're gonna do first is there are booms the boom is basically the big arms that go on top uh, with a counterweight and it actually holds the bridge up but we're not gonna start with that we are gonna go down to deck path and deck structural we first want to build, uh, build the deck, so you basically hold control over the base and you place the deck structural. There you go. Now you might see this and think, well that doesn't look good. And that's why we have the deck path, which actually covers the internal piece of the bridge. There you go. That is the bridge, basically. Now, the main support actually is the most important piece of the set. Now you don't want to place it on the outside like this. You want to place it on top of the uh, base. So basically, we're going to put it on the base, drag it up till it's on top of the base. You can also hold control and just place it. So we're going to hold control over the base and place it and put it in place. There you go. All right. Now we have two. Let's put it on daytime. All right. Now we basically have two main supports. Now you can see that this doesn't look good. You can't place the booms on this. So what there is, there's a main support beam. And you can hold control over the main support or the base. And you can put it in place. Make sure that it's right on top of the main support. There you go. Now you want the main support beam hinges. The hinges, the little round part of the hinges, is actually behind, behind the beam. So basically behind the bridge. All right. There you go. You got to place them like that. And then, only then, we're going to go back to boom. Boom arms. There we go. The boom is supposed to be like this. It has the same uh, shape. The slope goes the same way as the deck. So basically you want to put that there and put it on the other side as well. They don't touch. Alright. Now the counterweight. The boom counterweight. Now of course this has the same slope. So you can hold control over the base and just put it in place. There you go. Put Do the same here. Oh, there you go. And now the boom trim. Now some people might not like this. Some people might actually like this but if you don't like it you don't have to use it but it just gives a little detail to the uh, well the shape of the object alright now the cables the cables are pretty important for this bridge 
we want to place them like this. There are two cables on this uh, on the main support that go down to the ground to keep it upright, and there are two cables total. Well, actually, there's two per support post, I guess, and there's two cables for the entire deck. So you want to place them like this and like that. And now for the uh, let's see the railings for the bridge. There we go. The railings. They go on both sides at the same time. It's a pretty simple object, all right? They do not really touch in the middle. That is actually done on purpose, okay? Now the railing supports, you can put them in place like this. There's a little post right here on the middle and there are uh, connections to the main support right here. That's basically the bridge. Now as a little extra, I include the traffic lights in the set. These traffic lights are not for people, they are for boats. Uh, the Dutch bridges mostly have this. So basically what this is, is this works the same way, the left and right works the same way as the railings. These are the railings left and that's right. So basically left, you're gonna put it, when you look at the bridge, the left is actually on the right side. Alright, now put the left one there and the right one there. And then do the same on this side, right and left. Now these traffic lights, they actually attach to the railing like that right there as you can see they attach quite nicely and they attach to the trim on the base and as you can also see the uh, the lights red light is turned on green light is off and yellow light is off and this might be a little weird um, way for a traffic light to be built up red green yellow but that's the way that the traffic lights actually are on uh, on bridges and right now of course the red light is on because the bridge is closed so you can't go underneath it with your boat all right so that's basically the entire bridge that's the entire set now I'm gonna fill this up with water not fill it up all the way actually do it one H lower than that like this all right this is kind of realistic and now what you can do of course uh, I don't have other sets installed right now but you could I'm just gonna use the colonial sets for this what you could do is you could place walls right here. Uh, of course, you should actually place walls because that's kind of more realistic than just have uh, the earth that you can see, the ground texture. All right, so let's go ahead and put that on there and do that on the other side as well. And then we will turn off the grid and look at it from a distance. All right, and from different perspectives. Here we go, that's all done. Now, we're going to turn off the grid, and we are actually going to make a little bit of a path right here. So let's go ahead and get this out, and we're going to draw this path. Actually, you know what? I like it gray. No, I'll just keep it like this. All right, this is fine. Here we go. I'm going to draw that, and we're going to do it up on the other side as well. This is actually a little too wide, but oh well. I'm actually going to three blocks away and then I'm going to close it off like that on both sides. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm, going, I'm making actually uh, actually making kind of a road right here. So we don't need the end pieces. We just fill that up with asphalt, I guess. Alright, there we go. Fill this up. Texture it. There we go. Alright, so that's basically this is the bridge. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it looks pretty cool. It looks really Dutch, and it just it, it fits in a Dutch area or uh, whatever kind of area you want. Uh, primarily Dutch, of course. So yeah, I'm thinking about maybe making some more footers uh, for these cables here, but I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, for now, this is the entire set. There will be more bases, and there will be bases to create a bigger span. Um, although the total span, of course, of the movable bridge is never going to be more than two tiles. This is actually two tiles, but then basically, um, yeah, basically it's two tiles right here. One and two and twice half a tile. And it's all quarter tile placements. You, you, you can basically place it wherever you want. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. If you want to download it, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. And also, uh, there's a link to Silverette's video in which you can actually see the bridge. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace from Pieces of Prestige.